My name is Bill Lambert at Capital Tri-State in Hagerstown, Maryland. I want to take a moment to show you this control box that I have built for our customer. It is a time delay box with a potentiometer mounted to the outside to control the amount of time delay. We are using the Steiner Electric RE22 R1 ACMR relay. And the reason I want to show you this is because the instructions on how to wire this relay are not quite clear on what you actually need. In my case, the customer is going to apply power and they want the uh, time delay to start and that will stay that way until the power is removed. On this relay, the wiring shows you having to have A1 and A2 0.15 is your common on your relay. Your output is 18 for your normally open and 16 for your normally closed. But it shows a connection to Y1 and X1. Y1 is what starts your timer. X1 is the control feature that you can delay the timing. So in case you have a PLC connected to this and you start the timer, if a condition occurs that you need to stop timing, X1 can be set to high and stop the timer until the condition is set in order for you to continue your timing. Basically it delays the timer. And in this case also, the timer itself, the increments are one second, three seconds, and so forth. But that is your total time, not the timer that it's actually going to count per second or per three seconds. This dial here is a percentage of your total time. So if you had it set for three seconds and this dial goes from one to ten, if you had it set on ten, then you would get the total of three seconds. In this case, I just have it set up for three seconds and about half the time for the demonstration. This timer will go up to 300 hours. So I've turned the power on and you see it almost instantly comes on because I have a very little percentage set for my three seconds. So I set my percentage up closer to 10 and you can see now it's timing out and it comes on. One other feature about this relay is when you set your scale on top you should have the relay powered on and make sure that you get set into the groove that you want. When R is flashing that means timing. This relay also has a feature for diagnostics that you can do a test with this button here. Now one other nice feature about this relay is there is a Z1 and Z2. That can also be used for your potentiometer to set your percentage. They recommend a 47K resistor. The one I have picked out is a 50K um, resistor and you just place the Z1 and Z2 and you only need the one leg and your sweeper. And now I can adjust my time using my potentiometer. As you can see my potentiometer is turned down low so it took very little time for it to come on. So if I turn my potentiometer up You can see it taking more time based on that potentiometer. This is the same as using the lower dial on the relay. Hope this helps. Thank you.